What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can set the, your totals in your waterfall or bridge chart in Microsoft Excel so they make more sense with what you're trying to communicate. So in this example, we have a 2023 revenue number and an adjusted 2023 revenue number. As you can see, between higher sales, more expensive inventory, employee turnover, and interest income, our adjusted 2023 is slightly less than our 2023 number. But as you can see, when our with our default waterfall or bridge chart, this doesn't make a lot of sense because our adjusted 2023 is visually higher than our 2022 number. To make this make sense, we need to have our start and our end set as our totals. So to do this, we can double click on first the 2023 number, right click on it, and after you do that, you'll see set as total. And as you can see, it turns gray because that's visually our total in our waterfall chart now. Now we can double click on the second item where we're trying to bridge to, 49850, double click on that, right click, and then set this as a total. As you can see, after setting these two as a total, we have our 50,000, and then our and then the 5,000 higher sales, 3,000 more inventory, 2,800, 850 for interest income, and that kind of bridges us from a start to our end point. Hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.